to the vinegar's acidic nature, this product effectively fights and eliminates fungi, bacteria, and other microorganisms. The strong smell is also incredibly effective in driving away insects like mosquitoes. So does vinegar keep mosquitoes away? Mosquitoes taste using their legs, and the moment they taste any chemical that has a strong taste like vinegar, they fly away. If you also consume enough vinegar, like apple cider vinegar, you strengthen your body's natural odor to repel mosquitoes and other insects. You can also kill mosquito larvae before growing to mature insects using 15% vinegar and 85% water solution. This solution takes 18 hours to kill the larvae. How to use vinegar to repel mosquitoes? Vinegar in a glass. This is an easy method that requires you to fill a glass with white vinegar and place it on a surface in your chosen area, bedroom, kitchen, living room, etc. Trap mosquitoes with vinegar. Pour a good amount of apple cider vinegar into a bottle. Use a piece of paper to make a funnel and place it in the mouth of the bottle. Place the bottle in an area where mosquitoes are prevalent. Other home remedies to repel mosquitoes. Lemon with cloves. Cut a lemon open and place some cloves in the middle. Place it in different parts of the house. Lavender repellent. Use 100 milliliters of lavender essential oil and add it to your skin moisturizer. Lemon or orange leaves. Boil a few orange leaves in lemons and then put them in an uncovered container. Place the container at the point of the house you want to protect. Mosquito repellent plants. You can grow many plants in the garden, terrace, windows, etc. to eliminate house mosquitoes. The most popular mosquito plant repellents include basil, citronella, calendula, eucalyptus, and catmint. Does vinegar offer long-term health? Vinegar on its own is not enough to treat an entire infestation. It is not as effective when used as a standalone treatment against serious cases of infestation. Furthermore, vinegar is not able to penetrate the hard casings that protect bug eggs. Overusing the vinegar spray option means soaking the entire room with the liquid's pungent corrosive smell. However, to get the best results, you can use it together with lavender, cinnamon, lemongrass, clove, tea tree, and peppermint oils to repel bugs, especially mosquitoes, and bed bugs. More uses of apple cider vinegar for pest control. Most people use it to eliminate fruit flies from the house using a fruit fly vinegar trap. Apple cider vinegar is great at repelling ants. If you are experiencing an aphid problem in your garden, use apple cider vinegar to get rid of them. To make the solution, mix an ounce of apple cider vinegar with three ounces of water in a bottle. Spray this solution on your plants to keep the aphids off. Do not spray too much vinegar as it could affect some plants that don't like too much acidity. Oatmeal for Mosquito Bites Because of its anti-irritant compounds, oatmeal is one of the options that you can use to relieve swelling or itching caused by a mosquito bite. Mix equal measures of water and oatmeal until it forms a glue-like paste. Applying the paste to the affected area on your skin and leaving it on for 10 minutes would give you relief from the mosquito bite. Thereafter, you can wipe it off your skin. Crushed ice for mosquito bites. Using crushed ice to relieve the irritation and swelling caused by mosquito bites would prove quite effective. Although the ice is great at numbing the affected area and gives almost immediate relief, it is short-lived. Honey for mosquito bites. Honey is very commonly used by folks around the world to relieve irritation and swelling. This also includes medical-grade honey which contains anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties that are extremely beneficial. Apply a tiny bit on a mosquito bite can reduce swelling and irritation. Aloe vera for mosquito bites. Aloe vera possesses a cool gel that is known to provide almost instant relief to skin irritation caused by insect bites, including those left behind by mosquitoes. To acquire the gel and apply it to the affected area, all you have to do is slit the plant open and apply the gel to the bitten area. Leave it on and reapply if there is still irritation once the gel has dried. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.